Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to focus on another control called date picker. Now there are multiple things can be done in the date picker. For example, anytime the page opens, it should show only the current date, today's date. And when you go and select anything beyond a certain date, it should not allow you to select. For example, you are traveling, right? So it should allow you to book only next three months. Right after that date, it should not allow you. So those kind of properties can be set using UiPath date picker control. So let's see how that can be done in detail in this video. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's see how this can be designed. The very first thing, let me remove the current date picker control that I have. Okay, now the very first thing we will do, add control, input, and then we have the date picker. Let's drag and drop the date picker. Okay, now the date picker has appeared. Now let's change the label and I'm going to say, select a date. Now first of all, let's see how this one is appearing. Then we will learn the properties. You can see this is how it is appearing and when you click on it, it gives a calendar. So you can go ahead and select the calendar. Okay, fine. Now there are a couple of restrictions we have to make. For example, when somebody is traveling, if somebody selects, let's say today is 8th, if somebody selects 7th, it should not allow you. Basically, you cannot travel in the past date, right? So it should not allow you. And uh, in travel also, there is a restriction after a month or after two, you know, after three months. You, sh you should not be able to book a ticket in after five years, right? 2034, I'll select some date. It should not allow. It should only allow for next three day, three months, okay? Those kind of restrictions also, to some extent, we can achieve in UiPath apps. So let's see how those things can be done. So here I have dragged and drop. I think I have to put it in the first container, right? There is a container here. Let me try. Let's delete the container. Yeah. Okay, it's there on the top now. Now let's see some of the properties, okay, important properties. Anytime, anytime somebody selects a date, first of all, it should get stored in a variable so that you can utilize later in your workflow or you can pass it to an argument so that it can go to your UiPath Studio project in the process and it can do the job. So how do you carry the value to a variable? It's quite simple. All you do, click on it. Okay, here click on the plus sign, create some variable. Okay, for example, date one. And then this variable, you can assign it. All you do, drag and drop this variable. Okay, so like that, you can do it. And let's say I want to see the value of the variable. Just to experiment, I'm using a button and I'm going to say it as show. And here in the event, when I click on this, I should be able to uh, see a message okay equals to this variable right I have selected date okay so I don't need this message remove it so let's see how this one is working so the date has appeared let me click on this and let me select a date let's say 16th i have selected and then i'm going to click on show so here you can see it is telling june 16 2023 so and so everything is being shown properly so you understood how this specific thing works okay now there are a couple of restrictions we have to put for example let me go through this properties one by one uh, then you have hint text hint text you know right uh, select a date uh, in next 30 days okay let's say I'm putting a hint text so what would happen the hint text how that will work it is going to appear here so when you click on preview it is going to say selected date in next 30 days now there is a property called default date default date means by default it should show some date let's say today's date by default okay so for this use a equal symbol 
and then there are a couple of functions here okay i am going to use one of the function called today you see there is some function called today just drag and drop this function so what would happen by this you will be able to see today's date okay and once you write there is an error okay once you drag and drop the function ensure you use a open and close parenthesis now let's hit on preview and see how it is appearing so you can see when the page uploaded or when the page loaded it is appearing in proper date 6 8 2023 it is it has selected the current date or today's date so this is achieved now there is something called tooltip how to utilize a tooltip select a date within some, some tooltip you have to provide in next 30 days or anything you would like to write if you write this and hit on preview now when you keep the mouse pointer for few seconds you can see a small white banner has come banner where it says select a date within next 30 days okay so this kind this is called tooltip all right so this one we have learned now let's move down a label you know required if it is become mandatory then all you have to do simply say true all in lower case you have to write remember so it will have a star mark and then there is something called min date max date okay now min min date means if you see if i hit on preview this particular app allows me to select a date earlier do you see there is no error it still allows me to select so how do i restrict it now to restrict it i'll be using the min date so what is the min date the min date should be at least today okay so here i'll be using the function called today just drag and drop so it will not allow if you select anything beyond today it will not allow you okay ensure you are using the close and open and close parenthesis once this is done let's hit on preview now on the preview window if i select let's say seventh so it is saying date should be equal to or after 6 8 2023 it cannot be date should be equal to or after so it is automatically understanding that you have selected a previous date it should be equal or after getting it so this message can also be modified using this customer error message okay i think that message is quite uh, good okay instead of customer if you want you can put it here so that specific error will come now there is something called max date now in the max date let's say i would like to restrict today's 8th so it should only allow till 8th july okay 8th july so for that i am going to write something over here in the max date i am going to put a uh, fixed date okay so how to do it dynamically there is a question that will come but again let me put a fixed date uh, so july will be seventh month so i'll start with the seventh month and then i will say 08 is the date then i'm going to say 2023 okay month uh, this is the system format of the date okay now here uh, what i have done i have put 7th which is july 8 2023 now let's run and preview let me click on this and select a date after 8th so july 8th right let me select something called let's say 19th the date should be between 6 8 2023 and 7 8 2023 it is telling you so if i am selecting anything beyond that if i select 8th it should allow me if i am selecting 9th you know after a month then it is not allowing me it is giving an error so this kind of a restriction can also be set so this is also a great thing that you have learned now the other thing that comes to my mind instead of putting a fixed date how to make it dynamic one way i was looking is to write a expression something like this let's say today dot add days there is expression pv expression and here i can say 30 but this expression for some reason it's not working so um, uh, i have submitted a feedback uh, and see if there is some if they can add this function now in the function list i don't see this okay let me know if you find a way uh, around this let me know in the comment section so here um, i don't see that 
so today is there time today now but our days function is not part of this app studio at the moment maybe in the future it might come i have submitted a feedback now there are also alternatives of options available what is the alternative i can create let's say i'm using a process a studio process i can create an argument and in the argument i can write a default uh, value uh, i can put a expression there uh, today dot add days in brackets like this and use the argument over here rather than a specific date okay so that can also be done now for the moment let me leave it as it is now there is also another thing that can come to your mind rakesh when you are running it is coming in month date format what if how do i change it to my own country's format or you know so as per the language it should show the format okay now this is again um, something that can be done where the user is loading the app okay or that is the only option available at the moment let's say i am loading so let me show you how the format was coming and after i change that settings in google chrome how the format will change i am going to show you that so here if you see it is showing in this format okay 68 if i am selecting 16 it's saying 616 so it is coming month date and then year let's say i would like to change it indian format will be date month and year for that go to google chrome settings but again every user who is using will have a problem you know they have to do it so this is not very flexible at the moment but again i am going to let you know what is available so here in the google chrome i am going to click on add language let's say all of your user are from india then no problem so here all i have to do is select the language hindi or, or english india i am selecting okay english india i am selecting and i am going to add so what happened english india has come and now i would make it move to the top so it has become the primary one and once you move to the top all you have to do simply display google chrome in this language select it and relaunch so what would happen let it relaunch and refresh the app now if you see if i am selecting any date let's say i am selecting june uh, let's say i am selecting 2030 so it is saying 36 2023 okay so this is another option available so these are the couple of great things that you have learned today uh, in the date picker of ui path app so thank you guys for watching if you have any further questions please do comment i will try to answer them thank you and we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like and share the videos that you are watching thank you